Hey friends, welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of my Joy of Life Legacy Challenge Generation 1 or welcome in if you're new. We're here with Maisie this morning. She's currently repairing the bath because she broke it and I didn't know this but I have this mod that gives you talents and weaknesses and Maisie is actually really good at handiness. Like this mod makes it so that sims gain skills faster if they are like talented in it so she's got the super parent talent and handiness talent but she's not very good at dancing and she's not very good at painting and photography you can't just leave a big puddle in the floor Maisie come and clean that up so it's the next day after dear Yasmin has left and now it's just Oliver and Maisie in the house they both feel a bit lonely, I think. Um, a bit sad that she's gone, but they're definitely going to go and see her soon once she's settled in to uni. Oliver is just chatting away to his new bestie, Vivian. He's got a couple wants. He wants to stargaze with her and he wanted to call someone. So I've gone ahead and got him to call Vivian, but I might actually invite her over and then we can stargaze with her as well, or I guess cloud gaze. He does have work tonight so he'll be going off to that and hopefully he'll get a promotion. He was supposed to get one last night but he didn't because he was in a really tense mood. He keeps getting this moodlet saying that he's like underachieving in life and I feel quite bad for him. And it seems as though Maisie's just coming to have a little chat with him. Oh, she's telling him a story. How fun. But anyway, today I am going to... Yeah, Maisie, to head on over to Imani and Gia's house as we are going to meet their newborn for the first time. Maisie's going to bake them a little something. Do you know what? Maybe she can even make them some savoury meals because they're just going to be so busy looking after the newborn. And we're also going to get them a little present as well, maybe a playmat or something. It'd be really cool if we could have like a, like a party, but unfortunately, just wish that other sims could invite your sims to parties. You know, that'd be so cool. Maybe we can do a faux meat casserole and that way everyone can eat some. That's quite a nice hearty meal, I think. I'm really not enjoying the layout of this kitchen, by the way. I do think I am going to give the house a little renovation if we earn some money through the bakery. Um, I do want to get Maisie to go ahead and open her bakery back up tomorrow. It's been a little while since we were last there and running it. Um, so she definitely needs to get back in there and, you know, run her business. <laughs> Ew, what a nasty counter. Okay, we can clean that after we're done. If I'm not mistaken, we can purchase gifts here. I wonder if we can get anything for children. Oh, we can get toys. Okay, let's get a ducky. And then I am actually going to go and also buy a play mat because I'm pretty sure I can put those in my inventory. We'll get this little bear one. That's really cute. Yeah, we can. So we'll place that in inventory and then we can gift that to Marnie and Gia as well. All right, the casserole's all done. That looks yummy. I'm going to put it in the fridge because I don't know how long we're going to be at home for. But as soon as we're done baking the dessert, I think we are going to head straight over and spend some time with our besties today. For the dessert, I think we'll make some baked chocolate mousse. That sounds quite nice. It's an eight serving as well, so we'll all be able to have some together for dinner. And then they've also got some leftovers afterwards. I keep getting Eleanor calling up in all my saves, even when there's no children. It's driving me bonkers. <laughs> okay, we're all done. So let's drag those things into our inventory. And Maisie is going to head on out. We've arrived in Brindleton Bay and Maisie is just knocking on the front door now. Oh, Yasmin's calling us. Okay, we're going to decline for now because we have just turned up at our friend's house. But we will give her a call in a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Maisie just gave Devon a hug. That's cute. We'll ask her about her day, check in and see how she's doing. Maybe Maisie's like, so how is living with a newborn infant? Are you, are you getting much sleep as well? She is sitting in the living room, so we'll come and give her a hug and just say congratulations on the birth of your baby. I can't wait to meet them. And then let's gift the food to Gia because... She's currently free. Here you go. I made this for you guys. Hopefully it'll help you for a few days. Did she like it? I think she liked the present. Okay, good. We'll also give the mooses as well. 
do you saying oh why don't you stay and have some chocolate mousse with us this afternoon as you work so hard on baking them you deserve a little treat as well we can all eat together and chat away i think Maisie was like oh that sounds nice but let's find this newborn child money's out here mad as hell oh <gasps> wow why is she pissed she rejected a hug is she yelling at us okay i don't think so girl are you okay <laughs> Maybe she's a little bit stressed from parenting. You know how it is with a newborn. And speaking of little one, the baby is right here. Here she is. <laughs> Isn't she such a cutie pie? This is baby Cassidy. And oh, she's so precious. He is truly. I wonder if we can... Let's ask Imani to introduce us to the baby. So, Amani's just introducing us to dear Cassidy now. How sweet. We can also give Cassidy a little cuddle and a bounce. Oh, what a sweetheart. Okay, let's discuss Angry Mood and see if she'll calm down a little bit. Okay, I'm not sure if it's working, but <laughs> maybe we can try and brighten her day. It's a pleasant conversation now, at least. And then, oh, let's bring Cassidy inside. She's probably overheating because it's super hot out here. Oh, I think she wants her mama. Okay, come on, let's bring you inside. Let's go ahead and gift her the playmat. So, here you go, Marnie. I got Cassidy a little gift, just, you know, so she's got somewhere to lie down downstairs and, you know, you can practice tummy time together and things like that. And then let's go ahead and also give her the duck as well. She seems to be in a bit of a better mood. <laughs> I don't know why she was so angry. Maybe because Cassidy is feeling a bit uncomfortable because it's so warm. I've literally just noticed this little playmat it has like honey bears on it. With little bees and like hives or like honeycombs. How sweet. Okay, I think Imani is just helping Cassidy get off to sleep while Gia, Devon, and Maisie are all having a little chat. Oh, Yasmin's calling us again. Okay, Yasmin, we will give you a call back in a bit. Don't worry. Before all this food gets spoiled, let's put the casserole away. And we'll put the cupcakes away as well. And then let's also inv invite Theo over. We can't have our other bestie missing out on all the fun. We'll get the chocolate mousses out. And Gia can call everyone to grab one. They have been chilling in the fridge. So they're nice and cool. Especially on such a hot day like today. Okay, perfect. Everyone's grabbing one now. We do need to also tell Spatula to go potty. Oh, Theo is here too. Hey, Theo. So the besties are all here chatting away. And I think they're also just double checking that Maisie is alright. After everything that happened the other week. You know, that she can count on them to be there beside her. The whole day pretty much has gotten away from us. We've just been spending time with our besties here at their house. And Maisie's just playing with Spatula now. But I do think she is going to head home as she has been out all day. And, you know, she did promise Yaz that she would call her back. So, yeah, I'll meet you back at home. So we are back at home now. And Maisie's just settled in on the sofa and given Yaz a quick ring. <laughs> it looks like they're having a good call. And I think Yasmin's just saying, I'm all settled in now, Maisie. You can come and visit me whenever you'd like. What about next week? Um, whenever's good for you and Oliver. Oh, okay. Oliver has been feeling successful lately and wants to keep it that way, even if it means being an overachiever. Okay, we can embrace that change. And let's just head over to Oliver real quick. He did get a promotion at work, so he's going to make an additional 8 simoleons per hour for a total of 48 per hour. So he's now customer support. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling accomplished? <laughs> Aww, he is sore from work though, which is understandable because he is obviously an elder. So why don't we have a little bath maybe? We'll take a bath with some muscle relaxing soaks. That might make you feel a tiny bit better. And then you can go and head off to sleep. But as I was saying, Yasmin is inviting them round next week to come and check out their new place. Maybe they can go out for dinner on campus or, you know, go grab a coffee or something. And Maisie thinks that's an amazing idea. I do think she misses Yasmin a lot. And, you know, it's shocked her a little bit how much she's missed having 
sort of a younger sibling around or someone a lot younger than her just hanging around the house um even if she did have to tell her off sometimes i think Maisie does actually miss that quite a lot but for now i'm gonna get everyone's needs sorted and send these guys off to bed and then tomorrow morning we'll be heading over to the bakery to open up for the first time in a while good morning we are up with Maisie Oliver is also awake too and they're just having some breakfast to get their day kick-started I need to remember to take the goodies I've already baked out of the fridge at home and actually pop them in my inventory to take to work today <laughs> it is also prank day so I think we are gonna go ahead and do some mischievous things maybe we can pull a little prank on oliver <laughs> although i do feel quite bad because i don't know he's just a sweet old man <laughs> i feel like Maisie's probably gonna not do too well at pulling pranks anyway though because she is socially awkward so maybe we can we'll give it a go we'll we'll try a little prank maybe we'll do what's that spot <laughs> no they're just singing to each other how cute <laughs> oh <laughs> she got him <laughs> and oliver oliver enjoys pranks which is nice let's also go ahead and prank <laughs> Maisie too i feel like oliver is definitely a bit of a jokester i think that's maybe where yaz gets it from um let's do what's that spot oh my god i thought she was kicking off then but she wasn't they're just infusing about prank day <laughs> all right so we've got that all out of the way let's get ourselves upstairs and dressed we can head on out to the bakery okay here we are i just spent the last 30 minutes or so trying to figure out why i couldn't get into the bakery <laughs> my game kept um bringing up an error code but it's all sorted and we're here maybe Maisie was just stuck in some traffic and oliver has also come over to help today as well so let's go ahead and get the bakery open oh my gosh i feel like it's been so long since we were last in here i was wondering why everyone was changing their shoes and it's because we've got this little sign up here still <laughs> i did have to place an older version of the lot back down just so i could get in and i had to clear out all the upstairs again obviously because as you know if you've been watching this series Maisie and yaz used to live here but yeah okay hopefully they won't take their shoes off now <laughs> so Maisie's just saying hello to everyone greeting the customers and answering any questions that they might have we'll get oliver to come and do the same i don't actually know how interesting this part of the gameplay is for all of you um please do let me know if you don't actually enjoy watching this part all that much because i can just as easily do this in my own time i know it's very repetitive and i do understand it can be kind of boring um, so just let me know what you think and I do plan as well on using the stall from the Home Chef Hustle Pack a lot more because I do enjoy the gameplay aspect of that. Oh my god, so I found a ring in Morgan's bag. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? Oh my god, that's a really big thing. I'm going to say you should think for yourself. I'm curious to see how fate decides on what yasmin should do <laughs> what do i want i don't know what i want i wanted you to decide for me it's obvious that i can't count on you for huge and impactful life decisions that don't really concern you thanks for nothing Maisie. <laughs> no oh we'll have to see the next time we pop over to yasmin's we'll have to see if she's engaged or not what's an interesting development and we do have a customer ready to buy so let's get Oliver to ring them up. One thing I don't like is that they all just start chatting and you can't get them to stop. I just want to like answer their questions. I don't want to have full-blown conversations with these strangers. Oh, Maisie's feeling uncomfortable because it's too hot. I might actually get a thermostat in here because we do have a bit of money now and I have a mod where you can upgrade it. It would be automatic. So we'll pop that there and then we'll get Maisie to activate the automatic and then hopefully the customers will be nice and cool as well and it won't be too hot inside the bakery so I'm just gonna continue playing in the bakery and helping Oliver and Maisie ring some customers up hopefully we can make a bit of money today and then after that we will head on home and probably just have a nice evening in with our granddad cook him some dinner and then we can probably go ahead and see Yasmin tomorrow as it is Monday tomorrow in game 
but yeah, I'll continue to do this and then I'll meet you back at home. Okay, we are back home now. Maisie is just making herself some casserole and some leftovers as well for the next few days and Oliver did make himself some mac and cheese at work <laughs> so he's just going to sort his needs out and then head off to bed and I'm thinking I'm going to do the same with Maisie. I'm just going to get her to eat and then we're going to go to sleep as well. We are going to see Yaz tomorrow at her accommodation and then we might actually pop out and do something because it is Earth Day. It'd be nice if we can go and do some cleaning or maybe some gardening um, just to, you know, contribute to keeping the earth green and looking after our spaces. So I think that is what we are going to do tomorrow. I think we're also going to invite Theo along as he did express that he wanted to hang out with us as well. And oh, before I forget as well, we did get our last trait on Maisie and it's neat. So Maisie's full list of traits are foodie, neat, perfectionist, cheerful and socially awkward, which is quite an interesting combination. <laughs> neat does make sense with perfectionist as she wants, you know, everything to be amazing. All right, I'm gonna get her to grab a serving of this casserole and then she'll head on to bed and I shall come back tomorrow morning when we're ready to head out and spend the day with Yasmin. Here we are in Brightchester at the townhouse that Maisie is living in while she's studying university and she does have a housemate. It is Christy Redkey. I just checked her orientation and gender and stuff and this is Yasmin's roommate and yeah it's kind of nice actually that because um, Yasmin is non-binary, she's gender fluid, um, it's nice that she has a transgender roommate, uh, maybe I'll have to give her a little bit of a makeover but yeah this is the house that they live in and Yasmin lives on the bottom floor. I think maybe Christy's parents own this building or something or they rent it out to her. So Christy has like the top two floors, I guess. Um, there's nothing in it. <laughs> but Yas lives in this part down here. So let's all head on in here together and check out Yasmin's place. I'm... Oh, do we have to knock? Of course we do. Let's go knock on the front door. <laughs> All right, and we've been welcomed in, so maybe let's all go here together. Maisie's just having a look around, like, oh, this is actually quite nice, Yasmin. You picked out a good space, and although it's kind of bare and not really Yasmin's style, she's like, yeah, I mean, it is quite big, especially for my first year, and I have my own kitchen, and she has her own big bathroom, and her own bedroom and everything, and Maisie's like, wow, yeah, this is nice. I'm glad that you can get something quite nice, especially with your budget. And it looks as though they are all heading outside now. <laughs> they was like, ooh, yeah, I like this place. And I guess what we can do is... Well, first of all, let's introduce ourselves to Yaz's moon roommate. So we'll do a respectful introduction. It's like, hi, I'm Maisie. It's nice to meet you. I'm Yaz's older sister. And she's like, oh, your, your name's Christy. It's nice to meet you. And I feel like Christy and Yaz are actually going to be quite good friends. But I suppose that's all we really need to see from Yasmin's place. We could probably actually head out now. Um, it's still the morning, so maybe we can go to the park and do some gardening, you know, because it is Earth Day. And then we could probably all head out for lunch together in a little while. So let's go ahead and you know what, let's add Christy to the group. And let's all head out to the park together. Okay, we have arrived at Newcrest Park and we've just taken care of some of the plants in the little community garden. Maisie and Oliver are both having a very good Earth Day, doing their bit for the planet and, you know, taking care of all the plants that are here and planting new ones. They planted all these here and yeah, I did want to check while we're here with... <laughs> oh, look at the girls playing in the fountain. How sweet. I wanted to check Yaz to see if to see what she said, basically, to see if they're engaged or not. So let's have a look. Oh my god. She said yes to Morgan. Oh my god. They're engaged. Okay, that means we're going to have to have another little wedding. Well, 
have to see what sort of event Yaz wants and what Morgan wants as well. Maybe they only want sort of a casual small affair, but <laughs> look at all these guys hanging out in the fountain together. Once they've all finished having fun in this fountain, I'll get them over to a little lunch spot to get something to eat. Here we are. We have literally just come from across the road and I think Maisie noticed that there's actually a little cafe here. So we're going to come down and get some food from this cute little place. And I do think Maisie is literally ordering already. Yeah, she's coming to order a drink. We'll also get something to eat as well. This is a cute little place. It's like a community center, but it's got like a library. It's got a gym, it's got like outdoor activities. Maybe we can do some skating after we've all had a little something to snack on. Let's order. Oh, cannoli. That sounds good. Oh my God. This woman just stole my cannolis. Grab them quick. All right. <laughs> Finessed. <laughs> Oliver got a barista's recommendation. I have no idea what that is. Ooh, I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically for you. Will you accept? Maisie will be like, under what conditions? And we've got 2,500 extra simoleons. <laughs> That's a nice little bonus to our, to our household funds. And we're just talking away to Theo and Grandad now. And I think Theo is complaining a little bit about not being able to find any work. And he's wondering maybe if, you know, now that Yasmin isn't at home all the time, she can't help at the cafe like she used to. And I think Theo is asking Maisie, like, do you want me to come and help run the stall for you? You know, now that Yaz is away at university, you could probably do with an extra pair of hands, right? Like your granddad, Oliver's working too, isn't he? And I think Maisie's like, you know what, that sounds actually like a really good idea, Theo. I'm so glad you suggested it. Do you want to start this week? Uh, I can show you the ropes and you don't have to bake anything. You can just help sell them if you'd like. And Theo's like, do you know what, that sounds amazing. I have been looking for work for a while and it will really help me out. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't mind hiring me. And I do think that Maisie will appreciate the help, obviously now that Yasmin isn't here, like Theo said. <laughs> oh so, yeah, we'll welcome Theo into the ranks of the Ward's House Bakery. I do think that this is where I'm going to leave today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, it was nice to get everyone out of the house and, you know, go to a different part of the world that I haven't been to for a while. <laughs> Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed and a comment as well if you want to. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, besties. Bye.